Hi everybody, Gerdy here. And I'd like to talk to you about the journey of a visionary up the mountain. Because obviously I bring people into the mountains with me and as I've been doing that for a long time I've also had a lot of time to think about the metaphorical implications of hiking up a mountain. Which is how I came up with the journey of a visionary hiking up a mountain. So, when you start out with your vision, with the desire to realize your vision, what happens is that you're all fired up. You have this fire in your belly, and you're standing at the foot of the mountain, and up on the top of that mountain, the summit of the mountain, is your goal. That's where your vision will be realized. And you start out full of fire at a good clip. Things are working. You have, sometimes you run into some roadblocks, some um, big blocks on the trail. You have no problem either removing those blocks or moving around them. And this goes on for a while, all's working good. And as you become more successful, as you are moving closer to your goal, what often happens to visionaries, to free thinkers, to anybody who has a vision, is that um, you start to get caught up in the doing of every day, in all the things that need to be done, that need to be in place, to realize that vision and especially in business but generally in life as well when you um, when there's lots of things to do it's easy to get pulled into all that doing and forget about checking the map checking whether you're still on track towards your vision towards realizing your vision So when that happens, you run the risk of becoming frustrated by all they're doing. You are doing so much, you are doing all the time, that there is no time left to be thinking about whether or not you're still on the right track. Sometimes you even forget to check. And when that happens, it's very easy to look up at some point from your desk or from your life, from the business and suddenly realize that a couple of years have gone by and that you've not really moved closer to your vision or worst case scenario, you have gotten off track and are now pursuing somebody else's vision, which is not what you wanted in the first place. So what to do? That's when you come up to the next level. So you started out at the bottom being a inspired visionary, having this vision and you could see the summit and this is where you were going to go and then you got on the next level where you were quite successful You're, or maybe even very successful. But you're sort of stuck on that level because you're not taking time to check the map. You're sort of going in circles around the mountain but not really going anywhere higher. And this is when you have to take time out. All of us need to, take to, and need to take time out every now and again, just to get clear again, to be inspired again, to have time and space to think. And that's not what you're going to find when you remain in that same environment where you were getting frustrated by all the doing. So now you move on to the next level, which is taking time out to just be. And that's what I do when I bring people into the mountains. That's actually what we do. I bring them to a place where they can actually take time, where they don't have to do anything but do. But <laughs> when, excuse me, when they don't have to do anything but be in the moment, as they move slowly up the mountain, as they 
settle into the pace of nature, settle in to a pace that's their own and not the pace that is has been ruling their lives as they were doing all the time. And as they move in, as we move through the mountains, they also get the benefit of being completely disconnected from everything that is causing all that stress. Uh, there's no digital, digital noise, there's no phone, there's no people coming up to you every, every other minute with some kind of problem that needs solving. It's just you, the mountains, your thoughts, becoming inspired again, seeing new perspectives again. And that's when you move into the fourth stage. Seeing fresh perspectives, being inspired again, having new ideas, coming around the corner on, on a trail and seeing something completely new, being able to look down into the valley and literally look down on life, look down on your business and see what's happening there and perhaps also see what needs to be different. You can literally reignite your vision reignite the fire that was in your belly and that's when you move into the fifth and final phase which is that back on track to the summit you reach the summit and that's where your reignited vision can be found now when you stand on top of a summit you can perhaps imagine that you can see lots of other summits as well and those two are visions they might be other people's visions now they might all, might also be the next version of your vision and you may have to go down a little ways to be able to ascend the next mountain to get to the next summit but because you've climbed this one because you've managed to do this because you have managed to realize this vision this first vision of yours you also know that you are capable of climbing the next one so the journey of a visionary up a mountain starts with inspired vision can become can come grounding grinding sorry grinding to a halt as you become frustrated in a doing you then realize in the third level that you have to take time out to be able to start being and give yourself time and space to become inspired again to have fresh ideas again and to see where you want to take your vision next or to further grow your vision then you come to the space where you've got free fresh perspectives again and finally you get to the place where you are once again inspired where you have reignited your vision and you're all ready to go again and it's a side of a cycle you have to do this regularly you can't do this just once you'll find that you have to do it again and again. I hope this was useful. As always, go there greatly. Bye bye.